Well, if you're like me, on Saturday morning cartoons, they played one of these things is not like the other. These two cartridges look nearly identical, except the bullet size. That's because the top one is the 308 Winchester, the number one most popular bolt action rifle cartridge in existence, and underneath it is the 7mm 08, which is exactly what you would think it is. It's the 308, the same case, nearly identical, just necked down at the top to fit a 7mm bullet. And what they created five years before I was born made one of the most successful and versatile cartridges in existence even today. Today, we're going to explore 10 reasons why it's awesome. So thing number one, it's a true short action cartridge. Now the definition of short action is expansive right now because a lot of cartridge makers like to advertise their cartridge as being a short action. Now we've gotten up to 2.955 inches and on cartridges that people are still calling short action. But the truth is most of those cartridges, for example, the 6.5 PRC and the 6.8 Western that are pretty long short action cartridges, most of them are gonna benefit in a medium length action anyway. But they are still shorter than some others and so we call them short action. Thing number two, the trajectory on the 7mm 08 is pretty respectable, especially given the bullet weights and the velocities that it's shooting at. In fact, out to about 800 yards, this thing's gonna shoot nearly identical to a 6.5 Creedmoor. It of course depends on, you know, what load you're choosing, but it's, I mean, neck and neck out to 800 yards. And then at that point, the usually longer bullets of the 6.5 Creedmoor may give it an edge. So what does that mean? I, it's not at all, you know, a laser-like trajectory like a 28 Nosler or some of the Weatherby cartridges. In fact, I did a video a little while ago on the flattest shooting rifle cartridges in existence. That was kind of a fun one. But the 7mm 08 wouldn't really rank very well on that list. But it is a respectable trajectory that's pretty easy to work with. I mean, an, it, out until 800 yards, do you, does it start to get to the point that it's kind of starting to fall off a cliff. Number three, seven millimeter 08 works on elk. In fact, if you watch Randy Newberg's videos, he's one of my favorite channels, he frequently chooses the 708 to hunt elk with. Out to 315 yards, this cartridge maintains 1,500 foot-pounds of energy. So if that's the number you happen to go by, 315 yards would be your max range for elk. Thing number four, the 708 is an awesome choice for short-barreled rifles. And I don't mean short barrel as in a true SBR, I just mean a shorter barrel for a hunting or precision rifle. In fact, most 708s are coming in a 22-inch barrel length. That's fantastic for today's hunter that wants to be a little bit more nimble. You know, if you're backpacking with a really long barrel, it is kind of frustrating. It just kind of rakes on trees and stuff as you're going through. So having that shorter barrel is very nice. And the 7mm 08 will work very well in short barrels, just like its parent, the 308 Winchester. Thing number five, this might surprise some people. So when you go to gun stores, I've said this before, but you see the 6.5 Creedmoor section, the 6.5 PRC section, and everything else that they make. A lot of rifle makers are just doing the bulk volume stuff putting on shelves right now because it's going to sell, and so why get creative? But 708 is not at all a, a random cartridge. It's not one that's going to be difficult to find by any means. In fact, if you rank all bolt action cartridges from one to 82, seven millimeter 08 would be number eight. Number eight on the list is the seven millimeter 08. It's a very popular cartridge, especially with hunters. People use it for all kinds of other purposes. There was a time that it was used, you know, shooting steel even, it was very popular. But right now, it's a hunting cartridge, and that's what people are almost exclusively buying it for. And for that purpose, 
there's a reason why it's so popular. Thing number seven is recoil. If you've never shot one, it really fits somewhere between a 6.5 Creedmoor and a 6.5 PRC, which are common comparisons by today's standards. And so it's very, very mild. Or if you're more familiar with the 308, it's about three foot pounds less energy hitting your shoulder than the, the 308. It's really a very mild cartridge to shoot. And that's what brings us to thing number eight, is that this is one of the very best choices you can make for a youth shooter. It's great for an adult shooter as well, of course, but I think it really fits a youth shooter when you're wanting a youth shooter to be able to take some of those bigger animals or to get more immediate kills. You know, if you want to go on an elk hunt with your young teenage son like I have, then boy, a 7mm 08 is very difficult to beat, especially if even the 308 is a little bit too much sometimes. It's an excellent choice because the recoil is so mild but, and it has enough trajectory, if you're shooting out to, you know, 300, 400 yards, it's got enough power out to those distances. And so it really is just awesome for mild recoil, decent power as a hunting cartridge, fits youth shooters and adults very well. Thing number nine, barrel life is crazy on this thing. You'll commonly see people shooting, you know, 4,000 rounds before it burns out the barrel. And here's why. So if you imagine kind of a, a curve, well, it's backwards for you guys. If you imagine a curve, right, that we're adding more powder, as we add more powder, do we get, you know, more trajectory? Well, at, at the start, you know, of course, the first little powder, yeah, it's going to make a big difference in if the bullet moves or not. But then we start to see diminishing returns where that, that starts to level off and we're just not getting much more from it. So the 7mm 08 uh, is kind of a little bit before, honestly, we start to get to that point of significant diminishing returns. And that's why the barrel life is so good. It's just not burning a ton of powder in there to get, a, to get very good performance still. But I will say that that's maybe a knock that a lot of today's shooters have on the 708 is they just wish it was 10% more you know, something in the power class of a 280 Ackley improved, something shooting 150 to 200 feet more would make it, you know, a flatter shooter, give it, give you a little bit more distance, buck the wind a little bit more because of that speed, etc. And so a lot of today's shooters do want that 10% more, but if you're a true hunter, you want to stay under, you know, 350, 400 yards most of the time, and you want light recoil, but good power, then this may be the perfect blend for you. You know, where you fit on that scale between 28 Nosler, where it's extreme power, but not very efficient, the 7 Mag, that's a little bit of a Magnum, but not horrible, and then the 280 Ackley Improved, that's just right on the cusp of where we start to get significant diminishing returns, very efficient there. The 7mm 08 would be down on that scale, where you really, you wouldn't, you wouldn't lose a lot of efficiency to add a little bit more power, powder, you'd, you'd get more out of it, if that makes any sense. The second reason that some people don't like the 7mm 08 is because of the grain weights that are, it's usually using. Most loads for 7, 708 are between 120 and 140 grains. You'll see some 150 and even one, 160 grains, but they're a little bit less common. Usually it's 140, 150 grains for a 708, which, you know, isn't really any better than what you can do with the modern 6.5s. But, you know, the, the weight isn't everything. You're getting a larger surface area of the 7, and so I don't think they're necessarily equivalent, but it's what some people would say. So overall, the 708 is an awesome cartridge. I really wanted to buy a 708 before I did this cartridge profile, but I decided, you know what, I want to just investigate it and look through the numbers one more time before I do. And so that's why I wanted to do today's cartridge profile so that I could look into it myself. It's a great hunting cartridge. A lot of you should be checking it out. See you guys.